it going everybody? Adam here from Classic Game Room and today I am talking to you about the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition as well as the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition guide from Future Press. Um, now as many of you know I've reviewed Dark Souls 2 recently and if you haven't seen, well, here's a clip. So when Dark Souls 2 was first announced back at the end of 2012, I was excited and happy once again to have my ass handed to me. And so were legions of Souls fans. Until, of course, rumors spread that DS2 would try to appeal to a wider audience. <laughs> Alas, Dark Souls 2 is still Dark Souls, aka that brutal dive of a third-person action RPG. You can, of course, watch the rest of my video review at ClassicGameRoom.com, if you haven't already, where you can hear me kind of gripe about my uh, feelings about Dark Souls 2, which is... Which is difficult because when you have mixed feelings for a game, you you know you want to say oh, there's great things about it, but you also kind of take a, a, like a few steps back. Um, Dark Souls 2 is especially kind of weird because it's one of those sequels where you expect it to be the next great leap in the series when in fact it's just they did exactly what all the fans wanted, which was just more Dark Souls. Um, I think they did this because right now we're kind of in between uh, console generations and uh, with the PS4 and the Xbox One just just right out. From Software is probably already working on Dark Souls 2 for the 360 and PS3 and the PC, which is coming out soon. Um, so they kind of saddled probably with the fact that they would make a decent sequel for fans and I'm sure down the line when Dark Souls 3 or whichever Souls games they come out with will definitely be pushing kind of uh, the next big leap for the series. Now the actual game that comes with the Collector's Edition is the Black Armored Edition which you could have bought separately but you know it's nice that they included it considering that the uh, price of the Collector's Edition was a hefty 120 bucks. But it's cool if you bought the Black Armored Edition because you actually get the soundtrack to the game, as well as a voucher for uh, the Black Armor weapons pack, which I used toward the end of the game, so it didn't really help me out. So if you do plan on using the uh, Black Armor DLC, make sure you use that right away. The second thing uh, Bandai Namco included is this cloth map which um, seems to be really popular with RPGs. I think the one that started it all, which I'm, I'm sure there's probably ones before that, was Oblivion had a one for um, its game. And this is a nice kind of cool cloth map from Dran Link. Um, I guess you can hang it up if you're uh, that hardcore of a Dark Souls fan. You can't actually really use it um, <laughs> if you were planning, if there's no actual use, unlike say the strategy guide. But uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice little add-on that they included. The third thing that they included is this kind of art book, and uh, I know how most people feel about art books in uh, collector's edition. They feel like, oh, it's just another art book. Well, the designers and the, especially the artists for Dark Souls, uh, for the Dark Souls from Software's team, they've always made some amazing art, and especially if it's like sketch stuff, um, they always have had incredible art, and it's really cool to see most of it. Um, you know, not even fully 3D rendered, and the stuff they definitely kept out um, for the game. So it's actually, it's really nice. The only issue with the art book is that the uh, binding is, is not the best, so make sure you don't flip this thing open too, uh, too quickly. Now, of course, the main set piece to the uh, Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition is the 12-inch Knight figurine, which is really nice, actually. It doesn't, it's not opposable or anything, but um, it's definitely one of the best uh, figurines I've seen included in the game, um, and it's definitely cool because he comes with, you know, he can, he or she, I guess, can dual wield, and it comes with two little swords that you can kind of attach, and uh, it's one of the figurines you can feel less embarrassed about, especially if you have friends that come over and know the uh, Dark Souls series. As well as picking up the uh, Collector's Edition, I also grabbed the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition guide by uh, Future Press. And um, I personally think that this is probably <laughs> a must for anyone new to the series. And you shouldn't feel ashamed to really pick up the strategy guide because it'll not only save you lots of time, but um, mostly probably save you lots of pain and anguish that the game will give you if you don't have the guide. Um, it's a pretty thorough uh, strategy guide, and uh, Future Press did an excellent job with the previous, they, they did dark, a, dark, uh, a guide for Dark Souls, and there wasn't actually a guide for Demon Souls, which kind of gave it a, word, a, a better kind of word of mouth thing, especially since you had to look at Wikipedia pages. Well, Future Press 
I mean, they collect as much information as you want. Wep I mean, there's weapon sets, there's character sets, there's, you know, all the side quests, there's all the bosses, strategies, and all this sort of, all these sort of goodies. Um, I think the best thing about this guy, though, is that with how the Dark Souls games kind of work, I mean, their stories and plotting are always kind of vague, and uh, they include all the notes that are on the uh, items and weapons and stuff that can kind of help you. They, they even put their own sort of personal interpretations on enemies and bosses that really makes you more interested in the world of Drain Link and uh, Dark Souls 2. Um, the only issues with the strategy guide itself is that, of course, with the game getting its first big uh, patch this past week, um, some of this information will obviously be out of date. Overall, I think the uh, Collector's Edition is definitely worth getting if you're a fan of Dark Souls. Um, especially, you know, Dark Souls 2. Um, it's 120 bucks, which is, is, is that's, as, that's about as much as most Collector's Editions go. Um, I think it's definitely worth your money's worth. I think the only thing really missing that would have made this like a, a must get, which it's pretty close to, is a DVD making of, which I think everyone has been waiting for, for especially from, the, from software people. Um, they had an, an art book for Dark Souls released recently, and that included interviews in the back, which are just absolutely fascinating, where they talk about, you know, influences such as Harry Potter, which I'm sure Derek is, would be, would kind of perk Derek's interest, especially because they talk about Hermione and Dark Souls. And tying those two together is a pretty interesting kind of thing. So um, I think that's the only thing that's really missing from the, uh, from the collector's edition, but it's, it's one of the best collector's editions that I've ever purchased, so definitely recommend it for Dark Souls fans.